defense team? Like, makes me shake with anger. Dude, listen, we all know defense has an easier path because the cases are written to be even, so it's easier to prove that the prosecution has not met their burden of proof. All these, these are all mock trial specifics that everyone knows. Dude, it's just like, everyone knows. It's nice to be home near all these familiar Montana things, such as the state bird, the western meadowlark. You know, there are different types of volcanoes, but I think we forget that, yeah. you know? Dormant ones, active ones, so many types of volcanoes. <laughs> I guess I was thinking more that like some eruptions are only ash, which we can actually like recover from okay. And then they have ones that are slow moving magma, which actually we can also recover from okay. We just move out of the way of the magma. Which There's really like only one type that's like very, very bad. Yeah, the big floaty. <laughs> but I definitely knew a lot about weather and I still do. So I that's think a great one. Like so oh, yeah. Weather, well, what, what are the big white fluffy things called then? <laughs> Depends on what kind of cloud you're talking about. Okay, well, Dana, okay, she tell, knew, me, she knew tell me the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane. Okay, a typhoon is like based on location. So hurricanes are on, in the Atlantic and typhoons are in, in the like Pacific? the Pacific. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they also spin differently. I mm. love a caper. A caper? I'll say it. It's the berry of olives. <laughs> A caper you is a berry, berry of olives. You Full name it, is brother. caper berries. Is that true? Yes. I. That's why I love caper so much. <laughs> There's no berries I don't like. Our former boss, Neil Casey, was telling us about the aquatic ape theory, mm -hmm. which basically posits that there's all sorts of evidence that humans evolved from the aquatic ape. It's why uh, we have layers of fat to keep us warm. It's why we have the Subtle remnants of webbing. Like, webbing between our fingers and our toes. It's why we feel naturally calm by the water and have uh, we're the only mammal of like our complexity that has a separate muscle for breathing. We have a diaphragm mm. and a lot of other animals breathe their whole body. But we have like something else that allows us to both hold our breath and run long distances. That's right. <laughs> To be endurance hunters and, and just chase flightless birds until they get too tired. Uh -huh. It's getting a little misty and cold outside, so I was just going to put Again, on this. Again, what does that mean? Well, mist is like not the same as fog, which is a low-hanging cloud. It's like a dense, cold humidity, like a rain may be coming, but it couldn't formulate into droplets okay. from a cloud. So it's a mist. What about a monsoon? It's a storm that happens at a particular uh, time of year. So, and it's like mostly like precipitation. So like a lot of rain will just like dump out of clouds. So there's like monsoon season in the Southwest here. So like Las Vegas gets a monsoon sure. season. And it just means like a lot of moisture, just dumps a ton of water, you get flash floods. And if you haven't gone over this recently, here's the story as I've been told. Median is a way of finding numbers. It's different than the mode because the mode is the single most repeating number. Oh. And the mean is the average. I was dying. Okay, I didn't know but that. the median sometimes is helpful to rule out. I had outliers on each outer edge. So like sometimes people yeah. are That's and if right. you just took the mean, it wouldn't tell the full story. They we really have the median, so. And the state butterfly. People are like, do you have a butterfly of your state? Oh, why? It's the morning clock. When I'm doing the opening and I'm like laying out that path, and then you circle back in that closing and we're like, hey, did you see what we did? And in the meantime, we conduct direct and cross-examinations. Oh, yeah, character witnesses, main witnesses, other mock trial things. Experts, <laughs> cops, referring to their affidavit. I don't know how plasma fucking works, man. Do you know that lightning <laughs> is the... <laughs> do you know that lightning is the only naturally occurring plasma in... <laughs> what about different than blood plasma but it's lightning different. but lightning is the only it's the fourth form of matter it's the only way it exists naturally on earth is in lightning you probably would have died in the dust bowl if you had it i don't know uh 
have you guys really learned about it yet? I mean, it was very serious, but it wasn't like a, per, a real threat in that moment. It was just we were quite thirsty. It was very dangerous in the Dust Bowl. It's more of a drought that caused occasional dust flurries and sort of a... Uh, and food From poor agricultural scarce. practices. Yes, yes. And you could starve. Yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you've never seen the show because the concept is pretty simple. He trains on the planet with a lot more gravity so that he will not be a wimple. And just by walking around, it's like he's moving weight because the planet's very small and the gravity is great. And that is the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, okay, okay. Just like on Lee's Ice Storm. Oh, really? Yes. Wow, I gotta see that movie. A little bit of tang Then go for the dressing That shares a name With me and an island Catalina It's orange and it's sweet And it's viscous I can't believe you've had a salad I'd miss this Fish. The West Slope Cutthroat Trout. Oh, yes, that trout. You can fly fish for them in the Yellowstone River. Yeah. Do you know that caves are made from magma tubes? Yeah. Okay, so we're the same. Okay. Because one of the easiest ways to get to Antarctica is from South America. A lot of people have to, they acclimate in uh, Argentina. Okay. Where there are, can you believe this, glaciers. I know, <laughs> it does not. Match up to what you think. But we are a vast and interesting continent. See, you are like a pigeon, it's a little tiny bird. And to avoid that pigeon, it will be some absurd. We must level 16, that is what we've got. At which point, pigeon turns into pigeon. No, that's wrong, it's 24. Or maybe 32. There's evolution in the middle. It is a term for me to you. Let me think for a matter. Pidgey, ah, yes. Pidgeyoto is in the middle. Okay, so you are the pigeon, then you turn to Pidgeyoto, and then end the pigeon, and then that's the motto! We started at the bottom, now we're here. Russians playing kickball, Dragon Ball Z! Okay, and cyclone versus tornado. Oh, cyclones and tornadoes are completely different. A cyclone is like essentially like a typhoon. It's like the same difference. Uh huh. Um, but a tornado is like land on. Or it can it can I, be a water tornado. But you know what? What's interesting is that you can have um, a water spout that is not tornadic, and sometimes it can be tornadic based on the clouds, essentially the the storms. You guys have a lot of flash being the prosecution lawyers, but really like. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> it's pretty cool what pretrial does. You know, we argue in front of a real judge to get a piece of evidence thrown out, citing constitutional precedent and court cases. It's very cool and hard, and we have to think on our feet. And our state flower, the bitter root. A bullet is when you can tie an adjustable looping knot. When you're a crow or a raven, you fly around. What is the difference between Vesuvius and Pompeii? I'm not realizing oh, I'm Vesuvius not sure. Oh, Vesuvius is the volcano and Pompeii is the village. Do you know where Honeymoon comes from? Yeah. And all this show is just trivia between <laughs> Zach and I back and forth. That's actually what it is. So it was because of mead, one of our earliest alcohols made from honey. <laughs> A lot of mead fans in the house. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Give it up for mead! Yeah. Um, so mead, mead's made town. from honey and we would give uh, uh, the new couple on their wedding day that you'd give them mead and they, it would be enough to last them for a month and it would be their honeymoon. Our state tree, of course, the ponderosa pine. They might be making an Americano. Sure. They're lot, putting... Lot of, and a lot of milk in that. No, no milk in an Americano. No milk at all in that. <laughs> no. No milk in an Americano. Sure. So a flat white mm -hmm. is sort of like a great approximation of sort of it gets us closer to a brewed coffee taste. Great. It does have milk. A lot of espresso in that. 
Yes. In a flat white. Yes. Well, all of these are espresso based drinks. So mm-hmm. think of it as you pull a shot of espresso. You add water to it. That's hold on, an, let me write this down. You add water to it. That's an Americano. Espresso you put plus, one. Hold on. Espresso plus water equals Americano. Amer- you do one. Hold on. Americano. <laughs> okay. You do one quick. Do you know macchiato? Uh, actually. That's the green grass. No, that's matcha. Okay, let me write this down. Okay, so macchiato, macchiato. has been sort of uh, changed in the way that it's presented in Yato. American chain coffee restaurants. Like a, a Starbucks macchiato is actually not what a macchiato is across. Okay, sorry, subcategory, Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Macchiato has way more dairy than a real macchiato. A macchiato actually just more means than. little mark, which means you do a quick little mark of the steamed milk. Whoa, mm-hmm. that's shocking. And that a cappuccino is a shot of espresso with foam. Cappuccino equals shot. Plus foam. Okay. And a latte has steamed milk plus foam. Wouldn't be right. It just wouldn't be fair. Not to mention the state mammal, the grizzly bear. Do I have a small piece of it? Might make it up, so oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Don't quote me, don't quote me, don't quote me at all. Don't quote me, don't quote me at all. But I'm the mayor of this city, New York City. It's me, LaGuardia.